Stone Cold Steve Austin back once again, playing more Mass Effect. And in this episode, we're going to go to the planet of Vermeer. And you may notice Steve Austin sounds a little bit different. That's because Steve Austin uh, played with his microphone settings. I decided that he wanted to make a few changes around here. So the next place to go is, of course, Vermeer. That's where Steve Austin's headed. So we're just gonna land here. And just click land. It's gonna put us down nice and easy. The people I'm taking with me on this mission, I'm gonna bring Liara and Rex. I know that's not much tech, but got a lot of biotic strength in there. That's what we're looking for. I like the biotics. Anyway, accept that. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Yeah, Drop check them, them out. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Damn right, you will. Got a clean drop, Commander. Good job, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Back at the Mako, once again. Make sure everyone's equipped with relevant items. I believe they are. Actually, they are. You can have that. Kinetic stabilizer. Polonium rounds. Better check myself. I have a rail extension. I'll take some incendiary rounds. And Rex. You can take the Lancer. As for your shotgun, take that katana. Get a rail extension. Polonium rounds. Exoskeleton for the Rex man. You get some shield modulator, and I'll take some shield modulator as well. I already got the Polaris amp. If they already want that, it's more cooldown but no duration. So no. I think we're good. I think we're good. Here we go. Cruise around. I like this. It's nice and peace. Oh, shit. I knew the peace would not last. It never does. We just drive all past. No one's getting over here. Just keep speeding. No one has to know we're here. I don't even know we're here. Just keep going straight. That seems to be the way to go. It's not a knock on the queers or anything. But I mean, I always had a thing for being straight. Oh, damn. Go around here. See these guys. Ignore them. Can go around this, which we're gonna do. Just avoid everything, right? Frankly, it'll save you a lot of trouble in the long run. If I'm to be completely honest with you. We ran that colossus over.
don't believe this is where we want to go. I believe we want to go this way, right? Make sure no back the way. We're here. Full steam ahead. He's down here. Now the thing we're looking to get to should be around here somewhere. I can feel it in my bones. We're going back the way we came now. That's not ideal. My towers keep getting, definitely keep getting jammed. So yeah, we're gonna go straight up here. When we get to the gatehouse, the gatehouse, the gay community, there it is over there. Now you see, we're gonna want to find a way to disable their artillery, as Leon just pointed out to us. Leon, I believe, has a thing for Steve Austin. We're gonna bang hot alien babes any chance we get. So does Steve Austin. I've lost shields. I've lost shields. You know what I miss? The shield. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns. But that cats are doing good on their own, you know. They got their own gimmicks, it's all good. Run! Disable the AA gun. I can debate that. Now, Commander. You want to approach the Solarian base now? Now. Ready to go, Shepard. Now I should take more tech people with me so I can decrypt things. Like Tally and Garrus. How was that? Right, go. Let's go. Oh shit, there's the Normandy. Another one. Excuse me. Pardon me. Let's go up here. Maybe I kill these guys, right? Ah, shot trooper. Marksman. Pretty good thing to have. Just tear us through enemies. Make some toast. Get over the gate so we can get through. Right in his face. Mako. Here we go. Going on a road trip. Gonna catch a big one. Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. Interesting. Don't like the sound of that. Solarian camp. 
There it is. Calarian Samp. So what are we supposed to do now? It's a good Stay question, Space Deborah. Fuck's going on? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, Third Infiltration Regiment, ST. Hi. Your crew just Boston. landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within ten miles has been alerted to your presence. Yeah, what? What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. But oh, shit. You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. I'm all you get. We couldn't understand all your right. transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. Okay. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with geth and very well fortified. What's he doing What's here? Saren researching. He's using the facility to breed an army oh, of Krogan. Oh, shit. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Wait a minute. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. He's they trying to cure the, the genophage. Over on the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Wait. I like this though. Damn it! The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. I think the genophage should be cured. You know, exactly my the only boss. Krogan I've met is we Rex. So, a hundred percent of the destroyed. Krogans I know are all awesome. destroyed. I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. Yeah, damn right, Rex. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Oh, shit. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. It's okay. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? That's fine. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. That's fine. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Well... Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a casket. Enough about just Rex. He'll be fine. If you say so. I just gotta save this first. Before bullshit occurs. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. I'll go talk to Rex, for fuck's sake. You could say that there is nothing wrong with him. Hello, Rex. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Easy, Rex. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines We're in the same armor. are getting a little blurry from where I stand. Yeah. It's not that simple, this isn't Rex. A cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family. Yeah, I hope you get your family armor. Well, Remember I'm that. Going to keep following you. I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. I wouldn't do this Rex, otherwise, Rex. These Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Well, I'm glad we sorted that out then. Squad. I don't really use stasis. I don't like stasis. Man, I got it. Uh, down here. I never use it, because I don't like using it. It just freezes them in place and you can't really attack them. So, I carry. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. 
The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. All right, so I see you got a plan then. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. What? Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified oh, for that. Oh, shit. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Hey, he's right. It does sound a bit risky. Okay, right, that's a good point. Way. No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. Okay. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Works for me. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. All right. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the team. Oh, fuck off. I don't make a habit of placing my people under someone else's command. I understand. But this mission is too important for personal preferences to get in the way. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. All right, Caden, you're up. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the solution. All right, raise a good point. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says... It's also not your place respect, to decide, Caden. Really kiss my ass? Shut up! This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. You see, Ashley raises a good point. We're gonna need Caden to warm the ball. Because he knows how to do tech things. Which I know, I guess Tally could do that, though. But Caden volunteered. So did Ashley. Alright, you can take space, Deborah. William, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Okay. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. What is it, Ashley? Is there something you want to you say? You can tell to me, you? Space Deborah. I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Let's kick ass! Open the gate of whoop ass all these Krogan sons we'll of be bitches! The damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. Hell yeah! You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concern. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay from hidden tracks. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was a fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped Arachni. Before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan. But before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope you... Oh, hell yeah! The team I'm taking with me here. Rex. Caden. Bionic boys. Let's do it. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. 
We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Uh... Let's go. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams with A. Gortin. Manovai, Teato teams, move. Time to get some attention. I hope Space Deborah is okay. Keep in mind, Caden was here from the start. Caden's been our bro since day one. I let him go under someone else's command. Give me a hell yeah. Alright. Let's go later then. No worry, Kate. Hell yeah. Gotta get some weapons, alright? Oh no. That's why I forgot all about that. I have too many weapons. Shit. Gotta turn all them down to jail. I forgot. Okay. Alright. For me, the pistol. I can keep. Kaden, you can take this pistol. And this. And this. Rex was already all kitted up. Actually, do you want the gladiator armor? I like how it looks, Sonya. Yep. Alright, as for what we're gonna do is convert all the ammo to Omni Jail. All those we don't need. There's a lot of that. Don't know how many items we got here. Basically, all the upgrades, the lower ones we don't need anymore, all can be Omni Jail. Anything lower than a 4 rating. Quite frankly. Do that. I'm sorry I managed to cut this out. Who knows? Uh, almost done. That should free up space. Might have to take out some guns too. Some low tier guns are like ones and so forth. Don't need them. No one's gonna use them. Especially not Steve Austin. Right now. No. That's a good one. That one. I was going to do this before, but I completely forgot because I went to bed after I did the video, so. This video is probably going to be two hours long as well. It's my bad. Reckon that's enough. Maybe we could just... No. No, I think, I think we got enough there. Where are we going next? Took care of this area. Go under the bridge. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe it'll be this to salvation. Something's 
Alright, music's picked up, so I guess we're going the right way. You know when music ramps up, we should go in the right way. Sorry, Steve, I was distracted with something over here. Okay. Just making sure. Okay, I'm going to the satellite up in Lincoln Tower. Look at my shields. How are the Cadence and Rexes? Ow! Stop that! They're calling sat strikes. Diego, watch for comm stations. William, can you see anything? Damn. Oh, I'm so good. Is there another one? No. Let's keep going forward then. Maybe we'll find something. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. What? Bunker up before they come back. Shit! Hey! If Austin just got something good. Oh wait, that armor's actually pretty shit. It's good for Caden though. Oh hell yeah! Going this way I presume. Maybe. This way, All right? No. Let's see what's up here. In the hidden place. Some rounds. That's cool. The map tells us to go down and to left out here. This way. This path here. Right? Hell yeah! Dancing on the other left here. Alright, uh, we're in the clear. Oh, um, the sound cut out for Ashley. She's dead. Confirmed. Getting close, don't you worry. Oh, they're all locked. You got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. Awesome. Clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. Oh, they got enough trouble. Just disable the alarms. We can handle. We can take them out. Inside. We're a good team. Just take the heat off Ashley. She doesn't deserve that. Good team. Indoctrinated.
Open up. Knock, knock. Let's decrypt this. It's easy. Check out the equipment we got as well from the... Oh, look at that! Heavy armor, Krogan. It's Ursa. Ho oh, oh, ho, hell yeah! I like how that looks. I really like how that looks there. Now take a look at this team. Doesn't that just strike fear into your heart? Hello? Is someone out Shut there? Shut up. Get some intel. Oops. I'm trying, Ashley. Fucking space, Deborah. Getting down my throat all the time. Ha! Huh, spooky! Take it down. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Who are you? Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranith Anoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. What the hell are you talking I about? this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Okay. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? All right. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. You gave me access to the lab. That's good enough for Steve Austin. I'll let you go. I let you go. Miss you so. Where'd you go? Open door. Don't look like no elevator to me. Looks like a bridge. Trying to confuse Steve Austin. Oh, here's the elevator. Alright. Cool. Open door. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh, of course. Oh, here we go again. Time for spooky head imagery. Please, no. Ah, oh, my brain. So spooky. I can stop. God damn spooky brains. Protons. Reavers. Dead destruction. Do, 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 do. Scary music. Alright, that was pretty pointless. Time to get out of here.
What the fuck? I'm just feeling something bad What is that? You are not sound. No shit. I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. What? I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. What? I am Sovereign. What? Wait, the ship? Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Shit. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they choose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. Oh, that's the fucking badass. Years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Yeah. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years. Wait a minute. And decades. You're saying that organic life is a genetic mutation. You're synthetic. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Organics create synthetics. You are nothing. You had to be built. Is inevitable. We are the end of everything. You don't scare me, you spooky space squid. Because someone had to build you, and someone can break you, and that's gonna be me, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Cannot be broken. Cycle. Cycle. The race is a good point. The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. What? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology, by using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. Oh shit. He's pretty us. badass. Let this is a good promo you're cutting here, boy. Then wiping us out. I'm gonna stop not you. Not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Hell yeah. Your words are as empty as your future. I your words are as empty as your soul. This exchange is over. No, it's not. It's over when I say, oh shit. Okay. Trouble. What's wrong? Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Oh, this shit. Shot. Orders, Commander? Nuke. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. To the breeding facility. I'm gonna plant this nuke. I'm gonna blow Burmire sky fucking high. The fuck out of here. You're dead. Open the door quickly. We got this. Y'all better be ready to open collective cans of whoop ass. Where are we going? Don't know. 
This way, maybe. Oh, shit. I fucked up, fuck it. We have plenty of Omni-Gel, we could open it manually, but fuck it. Damn! Stupid stalkers. Stupid ghosts. Out of the way. Rockets. I lost shields. Run. I don't know where we're going. I feel like we're almost there. Tarts deactivated. You handle that. I handle this. Oh god. Oh no, medium armor, human, heavy armor, too bad I can't wear that, I actually can. Rex doing good. Wish I could wear medium armor. Wait, bye. Level all good. Yep. Nice Here we come. Going down the elevator. Gonna be there soon, Ash. Hold on. Aid station. What? There's the gun. Clear those gaps and get the charges set. Leveled up. Squad. More charm, more intimidate. How's that sound, huh? See him. Caden, give me a hell yeah. We need to wipe this whole base out. Never gonna give me a hell yeah, are you, Caden? Ranger. The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. Oh, we'll shit. Never get to rendezvous point in time. Normandy, pick them up. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. And guard that bomb, Lanka. Keep that nuke safe. Uh, Garrus, Tally, come with me. You know, fuck some people up. First, there's just... Oh, look at that. I believe you can only take the pistol. I'll give you some of that. I think Tally can only use the pistol. Garrus can use everything except the shotgun, if I recall correctly. 
So, have all that. And take the stop rubber, which is good. You can't wear any human armor, sadly enough. Or a tally can, no? Alright. I think we're good. Better safe, too. Before some shit goes down. Alright, Ashley, we're coming for you. Where we go? This door, maybe. Alright, here we go. Don't worry, Ash. Space Deborah. And I'm bringing two aliens with me, too. Now you like that, you fucking racist. Activate yourself out of Come it. Just hold tight. Tally. Garrison. It's a crate over here. Up in that. Heavy armor. Human. I'll save that for Ash when she gets back. I got so much heavy armor that Ash can use too. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Heads up, LT. We just spotted the troop ship headed to your location. Oh no. It's already here. There's gas pouring out all over the bomb site. Oh, how bad is it, Alenko? Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What? What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams. Get the hell out of here! Screw that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Alenko! Oh, shit. Well, I mean... Alenko's got no one with him. But... Ashley's a space racist. But... I got all that heavy armor for Ashley, too. That was gonna give to her. But maybe... But space racist. Kane's been with us from the start. But Ashley's better. I'll biotic, so if I take her and Tally with me, I'll have full combat, full biotic, and full tech. This is a tough decision for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Never thought that uh, I'd have a decision this hard. But. Caden, coming to get you. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb. He's site. been there since the beginning. He's been with yes, us. Commander, I, I. You know it's the right choice, LT. Just hold on. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get I'll you. I'll get both too, of you. I think we both know that's not going to happen, Commander. Go back. We're going to save Caden. I. I. Caden's our bro, but I can't leave Caden behind. He's got the nuke. That's the mission. Steve Austin completes missions. I gotta protect that nuke. Plus, Ashley has a whole army with her. Caden's got no one. He needs me. Ashley can fight. She's a soldier. Caden's not, he's a biotic attack guy. He can't handle on his own. That's why I'm here. Oh. Don't worry, Caden. 
I am here for you. I would normally try and bang space, Deborah, but I'm already gonna blame you, Deborah. That exotic alien pussy so called can't resist. But goddamn. To us. I applaud you, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. I made the right course, decision. Nothing. Right? I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Right, it may be understand. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand. Sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Shit. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I won't be a slave. I'd rather die than live under the rule of I'm not gonna be a little bitch to you, Sam. You see why I never gave you like Bits McMahon. I can win. I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. If we make ourselves useful, I'll open a can and we'll pass on those reboots. Spared. Once I understood this, I joined the Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility would protect me. Y'all a bunch of puppets. Like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I am studying the effects of indoctrination. Is that the more so? The control the sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The sovereign needs me to find the continent. My mind is still my own. For now. For the no, you're already a doctor, you stupid sovereign. son of a bitch. I will not let it happen to you. The sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Sovereign's just gonna betray you, stupid Don't son you of a see? bitch. You're just a tool. Sovereign's using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. The other logical conclusion is that I kick your I'm ass like you. I'd rather right die now. Than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It's inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. Between organics and machines, and in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Oh, bring it on! Here we go. We're fighting Saren. This is where it all comes to a head. The final fight. Oh shit, what's going on?
been punched. Space Deborah. She's gone. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? It was your or her, Lyco. There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. Why me? Why not her? Don't question me. Lieutenant Olenko, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm sorry, Commander. You, you shut your my life. stupid face. Be I lucky I saved you. We should have been able to save her. We'll eventually get it together, soldier. Ash's blood is on Saren's hands, and when we I could have left you down the there, make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm. We'll get it done. You're damn Commander, right. Excuse me for interrupting. The fuck you won't. I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Do it. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Shit. Alright, still seems like a bunch of murder, spooky beard aliens, tentacles. Machines. Ah, what lad? There's a planet. There's Reaper. Incredible. I I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to go. Hurry up. Myself. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it. Tell me what you saw. It's a distress call. A message yeah. sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Anything else? What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the new relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Let's fuck go then. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The new relays inside the terminal. Say hello some more, why the don't you? Ships are not welcome there. Neither are specters. Oh, give a flying fuck. That's where Saren is headed. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. I could suck my Saren dick. Will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the council. We need a fleet to oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Okay. We're done here. Dismiss. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. All right. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Yeah. Sure, it's formidable enough yes. without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw a mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. The snooze is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Oh, you don't believe me? Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Oh, don't be stupid. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even 
And a broken clock is right twice a day. Well, firstly, that book is wrong, because if it's five minutes behind, it's going to be continuously five minutes behind. So, go fuck yourself. Screw Here's you. another thing. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too oh, get fucked. to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. You have to trust me, you sons Sooner of bitches. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. You raise a good point. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Seren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Alright. I can do that. Now that episode, on that note, uh, we're gonna end the video here. I'm really sorry that Ash had to pass away like that. But... That's life. So I see you guys in the next episode. Let's play Mass Effect. I'm gonna go have a beer and cry myself to sleep. Goodbye.